My Adventures with Superman is coming back for a second season very, very soon. And I'm quite excited about this because I really enjoyed the first season. It was kind of a surprise to me because, I mean, I watched the trailer for it and I, eh, I mean, I wasn't really looking forward to it, but still, I watched it and I really enjoyed it. It was a really good show. Um, I still personally don't love the animation style and some of the designs on these characters I'm not a huge fan of, uh, but the stories that are being told here, the characters that are on display, uh, the relationships that are being shown here, I think are great. Um, so I'm really excited for season two. We just got our first official trailer for season two, and there's a lot of reveals, and it's action-packed for sure. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about this. So obviously we start off we got good old Superman right here, the Man of Steel, voiced by Jack Quaid. Perfect casting, love that. And uh, another thing I love that they're focusing on, one of the best parts of the show, is the focus on the friendship and the relationship between Clark, Lois, and Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy just, I mean, it's been years since he's been in anything Superman related, at least more than like five minutes before he's killed off and... Batman v Superman. Um, so, you know, it, it's nice to have Jimmy here. And uh, I just love their chemistry. They, they just, it's, it's a great friendship. So I love seeing that. And uh, we're returning with some old faces, some familiar faces, some new ones as well. So Deathstroke, Slade Wilson is back. We also have a new villain with the Atomic Skull. So that's going to be a really cool character that I'm excited to see here. Um, now, a big reveal in this trailer uh, one of the biggest theories for the first season was this guy right here, his name was Alex. So a big theory was, is this going to be Lex, Lex Luthor? And here he is in this trailer talking to Amanda Waller. And you can also see Slade Wilson here as well. And she, I'm pretty sure she says, who even are you? And he says, I'm Lex, Lex Luthor. Boom, there we go. So theories have been proven correct. This is Lex Luthor, which is really cool. Um... It's nice that, I mean, it was pretty obvious because, you know, he just seemed like he was Lex Luthor. So I like that he's coming into the fold here more. Um, this is obviously kind of an origin for Lex Luthor because he still has the hair. So I'm interested to see, maybe we'll see him lose that hair at some point this season. See his hatred for Superman grow. I also love that he's wearing those classic Lex Luthor colors, the purple and green. So that is great to see. And he's working with the Suicide Squad. Now... Another really interesting moment in this trailer. Are we getting dark side in this season? Because we see Superman here fighting a parademon. Yes, this is a parademon, the henchmen of dark side. They hail from apocalypse. Um, a very similar design to what they look like in the comics. So Superman's fighting a parademon. Is he going to apocalypse? Are we getting dark side in this season? I don't know. Um, I feel like maybe, maybe it'll be something set up more so for season three, but we are definitely getting some parademons here. So that's certainly exciting for sure. Uh, another returning villain, we have Livewire back as well. And, uh, Parasite, one of those characters, I'm not a huge fan of his design, but yeah, whatever. Um, and our big bad for this season, we believe is going to be Brainiac. Uh, so this was the big tease cliffhanger at the end of season one. Uh, this is another one that I don't really care for the design of the character. Um, it just seems very basic and generic. Like, oh, it's just a big robot with the three dots. Um, I wish we had a more comics accurate looking Brainiac, but it's still cool that we're getting this character. Um, like I said, obviously they were set up in season one. So that's going to be cool. Uh, but another big element in this season is that Clark Kal-El, he is not alone. There is another Kryptonian coming to Earth, and that is his baby cousin, Kara Zor-El. So Supergirl is going to be in season two of My Adventures of Superman, which is really exciting. Um, this is something teased a little while ago when a, an official clip from the season was uh, released like a week or two ago, um, and it was a conversation between uh, Clark and uh, Jor-El and he said oh there is another Kryptonian and that is of course Supergirl so obviously we're getting bigger threats here in this season like Brainiac like Lex Luthor like possibly now Darkseid as well so it makes sense that we'll need some help here um, there's a, even a line at the end of the trailer that said heroes unite so 
uh, yeah, Supergirl is coming, and that is very, very exciting. My Adventures with Superman Season 2 will debut with a one-hour premiere, so I'm assuming that means two episodes, on May 25th um, on Adult Swim, and then the next day on Max. Um, that's another thing I'm not a fan of, is just the whole release strategy of this show. Wish it was just a Max exclusive show like it was originally supposed to be, and not coming out on Adult Swim, and then me having to wait a whole day to watch it the next day on Max, but, um, you know, because I'm, I'm not staying up till midnight to watch this stuff, um, but still, great show, and I'm really, really excited for season two of my adventures with Superman. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What did you think about this trailer, and are you looking forward to my adventures with Superman season two? So, thanks so much for watching. Please drop a give and enjoy this video, and hit the subscribe button so I keep you to date on everything goes on in the DC life.